the age of cybernetics. Have you noticed how many science fiction stories have got cyborg characters? To start with, there are the Borg in Star Trek and the Cybermen in Doctor Who. The Terminator films feature machines with a human appearance and living flesh on top of their metal skeletons. In Robocop, the main character is a police officer who looks like a machine, but beneath his robotic body, he has a human mind with human feelings. So what is the fascination with these part biological, part mechanical beings? Is it perhaps that some people dream of one day being able to become like machines? Or is it that we just want to use technology to fix people's disabilities? It's probably a bit of both. But the reality is that cyborgs will be here sooner than we realize. Many scientists and doctors have been working with sophisticated technology to develop robotic limbs that can be attached to humans. With this technology, people who lose an arm or a leg will have the chance to live almost normal lives again. For example, in 2001, an American technician, Jesse Sullivan, lost both of his arms in an accident. He now has two robotic arms that his brain controls through wires connected to nerves in his chest muscles. Later, in 2003, engineers developed an eyeborg for a completely colorblind artist, Neil Harbison. The eyeborg is a camera like device which the artist wears on his head and allows him to identify colors. Some scientists believe that we are entering the age of cybernetics, where man and machine are going to become one. No one really knows, though, how far this will go. What is for sure is that people who need them will soon have artificial limbs that they will be able to control with microchips in their brains. Engineers will design smart joints, such as knees and ankles, that will function just like real ones. Some scientists believe it will be possible to make artificial eyes that can see better than human eyes. We are not quite there yet. But the idea of a real cybernetic man is getting closer and closer to becoming reality. Mm -hmm.